Hi everyone, I'm Juan, and it has been said many times that today is the day for salvation, yet many still are holding out for some magic way to take the shortcut to heaven. Listen, there are no shortcuts. Jesus laid it out so simple. When he said, I am the way and truth and the life, no one comes to the Father unless they come through me first. It's that simple. Let's get to our crew today. Well, Leo, so far it's been smooth sailing in this new galaxy. Yes, Captain, but I wish you didn't say that. Leo, have some faith. God hasn't let us down yet. You're right, Captain. I'm sorry for doubting. Zeta, any news on the transmission sent last week? Yes, Captain. I was waiting for the right time to tell you guys. Seems like you two were in an interesting discussion. All right, Zeta, out with it. Yes, Captain. It seems that they received our transmission and looked everything I sent and they apologized for attacking us. They went on to ask if we ever have any need of assistance in the future to use a sub-channel that they gave us to contact them for help. One last note. They would like to be our guardians watching over our travels. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, awesome. Now I know I can say that God really has us in his hands. Sam gave his heart to Jesus, and the crew has welcomed him in as one of them. But over the past few weeks, Sam has been feeling like he's a leftover because he got stranded on board when the ship took off from Earth. I really don't even know if Jesus really knows how much I miss my family. I don't even know if this crew will totally ever accept me as a real part of this mission. I feel like they only need me when I have to help repair things. Hi, Sam. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think so, but no, I'm not. Well, I overheard you talking to yourself and wondering about us, as well as missing your family. Now that things are going better, we might be able to transmit a message to your family to let them know you're with us and you're fine. Would you really do that? Yes, we sure would. I would love to let them know I'm okay. Saturn Control won't be mad at me if we contact them? No. They will not. I know they'll be relieved to know you're just fine. Let me know when that can happen. I will, just hang on a little longer. Attention all crew members, this is Lieutenant Leo Street. I will be doing our closing devotion with all of you today. We have received a transmission from the ship that's been attacking us. Zeta transmitted our logs on the Diamond Galaxy, and they realized that we did not touch anything in that galaxy. In the meantime, our ability to transmit has been restored, so we will begin to contact Saturn Control on Earth to let them know that we are fine. Today, I want to share about time to choose. Our study today has brought us to choosing to follow God and His ways, or choosing the world and losing it all. Let me put it this way. Don't let desire for the things of this world stop you from trusting in Christ. Missionary martyr Jim Elliot expressed it this way. He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Thus, Jesus is uttering a simple divine truth that those who regard Jesus and the next life as supreme will be rewarded with that eternal life. But those who regard the pleasures and objectives of this mortal life as supreme will miss out on eternal life. So, remember as I said a few moments ago, time to choose, life without God or life with God. See you all later. That's right, time is running out, and it is time to choose God and eternal life, or the world and eternally being in the bad place. As Leo said, don't let desire for the things of this world stop you from trusting in Christ. Missionary martyr Jim Elliot expressed it this way, He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. 
I pray that you choose wisely. See you next week.